We recently learned from the ministry's um, efforts that um, we have a very challenging situation with STEM teachers, obviously. So we speak about technological and scientific future of Armenia, but we have a significant issue in terms of who is teaching from younger age the students. And even though there are now some financial incentives added and, uh, you know, examination processes, we see that there is very few people who are able to pass the exams or are willing to even to enter into that world. And there are a lot of regions in Armenia that don't have, uh, you know, enough teachers in all aspects of STEM. So I know TFA is facing this challenge as well in rural areas. Uh, could you share, Larissa, what is your, first of all, experience in trying to uh, recruit fellows who would be engaged in STEM education and what is the landscape and what you try to do to tackle those challenges? Sure, thank you. Um, so Teach for Armenia is an educational nonprofit oriented towards nation building through education. What we do is we are creating um, Armenia's biggest human capital talent pipeline for reform, specifically in education. How we do it, we recruit committed, passionate, resilient, mostly younger uh, individuals just out of university or young professionals we of different backgrounds. They're not necessarily educators and we train them and send them to teach in rural schools across Armenia and Artsakh for two years. They get hired as regular public school teachers and they teach a subject that is needed by the school. As we all know, we have a STEM crisis in our schools today. Anywhere between 30 and 40% of our schools don't have core STEM educators. I'm not even talking about computer science right now. I'm talking about math, chemistry, physics, biology, these core subjects that schools have a very, very difficult time of attracting teachers. So we have a STEM shortage, and it's no surprise that we have the same shortage literally every, in every other sector, especially in the tech, in the tech sector. And so my call to, the, to everyone here <laughs> is to really understand why that is happening. We have to look to public education to begin changing that. And we need to do it very, very, very quickly. Um, it's a vicious cycle. We're all in it. It's impacting all of us. Not just in terms of skill set that we're looking for, but also in terms of once you recruit these people into your companies, like do they have the right values and orientation towards work? You know, to what Mika said, like it's very, very, very important for us to think of formal education in, in that broader way. And so, you know, with that experience, and then we've lived through this pandemic, we lived through the war, a lot of people started writing to us and to me and saying, Larissa, what, what can I do right now? A lot of these people were actually working in the tech community, um, you know, young professionals saying, I can't necessarily like leave my job in the tech, in the tech world, but I want to be useful to Armenia and Artsakh today. What can I do? So after a lot of brainstorming with our team, we came up with what I hope to be a consolidated plan, Susanna, to your point, which we can offer to the Ministry of High Tech, the Ministry of Education, and also the, the you know, tech professionals and tech companies. What we're launching is a new initiative called Tech for Armenia. And through this initiative, we want to provide an opportunity for professionals who are currently working in the tech industry in partnership with their employers to enable these people to keep their jobs, however, work remotely in a rural community somewhere in Armenia or Artsakh and do, do the Teach for Armenia program simultaneously. Why is that great for the company? Because through your employee that you're gonna be sending to this community in partnership with us, that person can help you build a robust pipeline from that community and from that school into your company. I don't know if you heard, but everyone sort of said the same thing. We're developing our own school. We're developing our own academy. We're developing our own university. 
uh, go ahead. You said it's too late to go to start from, from, from university, right? You're right, because we have to start earlier. We have to start in the public education system. And so through Tech for Armenia, we're very hopeful that in partnership, we can begin resolving this very complex issue that we're all faced with. And so if you're a tech person, or if you're a tech company sitting here today, I invite you to talk to us because we can offer that plan and we can coordinate the effort to hopefully fixing the shortage that we see in our schools, get our kids the education that they deserve and have a right to, and also hopefully benefit your own company um, by bringing in new talent. So that's the big ambitious plan. I can elaborate more if, if you want. 